show you what's been happening. Come with me. Engine bay is nice and squeaky clean. For real, check it. Oh, my expensive sunnies. Went down to uh, Bunnings, thanks Gav of KiwiEV.com and bought one of these, just like Gav's. See the ceramic element in there? I'll post a uh, link on EVCapri.com to the video that Gav made that will tell you how to convert the innards of this to the innards of that. So uh, then it'll all be legal as far as the heat is concerned. Picked up a whole bunch of brake vacuum boosters that I bought off eBay. This little guy here is one of those brake boosters. It wasn't that awesome yellow when I bought it. It was a crappy kind of metallic bleh. People say, how do the brakes work in these electric cars? Well, because you don't have a petrol motor constantly uh, creating vacuum for the brake booster to work. You need something else to create vacuum. In comes this, a vacuum pump. All it is is air in, air out. All that's happening there, air's going in and it's going creating suction. That is the only thing that makes a noise in the car. I know Les put this in a fiberglass kind of box. He was building a box, remember in episode one, he was building a box? That's the box I've made out of that pump. Yeah, that one. Uh, so I'm thinking I might do the same thing with this. But you know, I just want to get it going before I make it beautiful. You know how it is. The other interesting little bit we got, this is cool. The kill switch. Now you need to have this to be legal by Australian electric car rules. This is going to be mounted in the uh, passenger compartment. What it is, is a key. But that's not your ignition key, that'd be ridiculous. All this is, is a great big, oh my god, how much current can that handle, connection between your battery pack, your two wires go in there, and the motor, or the motor controller, two wires come out there. It's designed to current to handle big current, big voltage. These are less than 100 bucks, and they're a legal requirement. But this feels good doing this. Oh yeah. You can just hear those amps kick in. Oh yeah, solid. You wanna see the motor? See the motor. Oh, toilet brush for cleaning engine bays. <laughs> also a good idea courtesy of Gav. What a guy. Now, the motor. Drum roll please. Shazam. Kind of small. Like, this looks like a joke next to the petrol motor. But uh, here it is, the Impulse, uh, the Warp 9 Impulse rather, Net Gain Technologies Impulse. You know what it's like when you get a new electric gadget and you never want to take the screen protector off? You know, like when you get a, a mobile phone, it's good. I don't want to take the little sticker off here because, you know, it's, if I take the sticker off, then it's not new anymore. Yeah, I wonder how long that'll last. Probably not very long. Anyway, look, I was going to get the hoist for 75 bucks to hire it, stick it in under here, Place this up, chuck it in there, but um, I figure that 75 bucks could be better spent. Actually, what I'm going to do, rather than hoisting it over, if you have a look in here, I'm going to remove these two little cross braces. There's only one bolt there, one bolt there, one bolt there. Then I've got a hole big enough to actually pull it up and over, plunk, and into there. Let's do this thing, eh? Get the boot going. This is really the main bit of uh, tricky fabrication that you're gonna have to have made when you want to match this up to your existing gearbox. This plate, you know, let's call it an adapter plate, is simply uh, something to bolt the motor into that then can bolt onto that. It's no more hardcore than that. If you have a look here, you've got a little uh, spline. Actually, I can turn it with my hand, this little spline here. Try doing that with a normal petrol motor, turning it with your hand can't happen. Uh, there's another little spline, uh, shaft rather, on the other end of this, which goes into the gearbox. So when the motor turns like that, the gearbox turns and works just like the gearbox did before. So the two shafts that I had trouble getting out of the car before, hey. it out, um, the two shafts join into that. So it's real simple. See these? Battery terminal there, battery terminal there, normal voltage, punk, punk which means this turns, which means that turns, which means the wheel turns. It really is that simple. I hope. Toilet brush. Thank you, nurse. This was a good thing. 
$2 shot, squishy bottle. Get a whole bunch of uh, degreaser, chuck it in there. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Oh, here's some advice. Buy a new toilet brush specifically for this use. You don't want to go there with one from up where your toilet is. It's I've seen a video on YouTube of, of uh, a bunch of guys who have done this before. Uh, do it in a day or two days. Uh, I reckon... Hmm, I reckon for someone who was into fixing cars, I reckon they could do it in, in a few weekends. But you'd want to order all your parts first and get that all sorted out on paper and get this paid for and, and being delivered while you do it because, I mean, what's going to end up happening here for me is um, I'll be ready for parts before they turn up. But you know, if I wasn't ready, they'd turn up straight away and I'd, then I'd have to store them somewhere, so... It's okay. Oh, um, I should probably also mention the uh, little bit in the uh, gearbox where the clutch cable goes, clutch cable, has been plugged up. There is now no longer a use for a clutch. That means that this car, while being a manual, has no clutch. Yeah, a manual girls can drive. It's gonna hurt later. Oh, that's gonna hurt later. <laughs> yeah, Karen, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, just making sure before <coughs> before we grab the motor and gearbox and get it up there that I actually know where the nuts are to attach it. Because if we're holding it up and going, okay, now tighten it up, where are the nuts? Bad. So, mm. found the nuts. Simpson, how are you going? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Meg Simpson, you would recognise his work from such award-winning documentaries as Kelly Slater, Let Him Go. But today he's, he's here to save the earth, not tell you about waves. One car at a time. Okay, I'm all good behind the camera. All good. Kieran's in front of the camera, guy. But mix my inspiration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get... Ooh. Kieran's getting hurt. Oh. I mean, hurt once in this project. Oh. He's taking the knocks. Our Chihuahua. <laughs> Alright, so we'll shuffle it that way. I mean, I can lift it here, it's not that heavy. Okay, is that shaft on the uh, ground? No, not at all. Oh, good. I found the bit I forgot to clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot I was underneath doing that. No, nah, you don't want that thing on top of your tooth. Okay. Depends, do you want to call? Right, just give it a little test. You know what? You're the one that works out. You want to stand where I'm standing. Watch your head, watch this thing here. Yes. Oh, it's clean now. I wouldn't get tetanus if that hit me in the scorn. <laughs> 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 Okay. Okay. And I started forward forward. Alright, oh. yeah. right. I'm Thomas in the way now, get the body out of the way. You hop out, I got it. Trying to put weight on the move. Like the uh, headlight. Go over the side, not the front. Yeah, but we can't do it from this angle though. Ooh, that's pretty good. Close. Okay, let's get these front ones in. They've just got to go back a bit. Well, it's not bolted in properly yet, but have a look. It's tiny. The gearbox is bigger than the motor. When does that ever happen? We just say it's twenty-five dollars. Seventy-five. The chiropractor's eighty. So <laughs> <laughs> we're down so, five. So sorry, because <laughs> Cairo <laughs> wants to go down a bit.